guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shayla, if this is your first time here. Hopefully it's not your first time here, but if it is, come on in, welcome. Um, I lit my little, lit my lit Brooklyn candle. It's called Lit Brooklyn back there. Um, it was a part of my Dove Beauty Bar Box giveaway, which I did a couple weeks ago. Thank you guys. If you got it, hopefully you did. Some of you guys may not follow me on Instagram, but it was an Instagram giveaway I did with Dove. Um, and the candle smells bomb. So let's just cut to the chase, honey. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my just go-to neutral, not natural, but neutral makeup looks, eyeshadow looks. Um, this is a like, I would say a step above natural because I'm gonna have a little bit of darkness in the crease, but it's one of those kind of like bronze everyday looks that you can kind of bump up for night and you can wear any lip color with it. I thought it would be cool to show you guys a look with four different lip colors so you can see how it works with everything. And also it's fall, even though in LA, I live in LA, it, it feels like it's still summer, but you know, we're transitioning into fall. And so I'm gonna show you guys some really pretty fall lip colors that I feel like if you just have these four colors, you'll be set for the year, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. Do I want you guys to be this close? All up in my pores? Yeah, okay, we'll just go with it. We're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna start by color correcting, which I often do. This is Live Tinted Rise Color Corrector. It's kind of like an orange shade. And I just put it in areas that I have darkness and you can't, I feel like you can't tell when I don't have makeup on, but when I put makeup on, I do have a little bit of darkness here, so I like to just correct that for sake of the pictures. And what I'm gonna use is the NARS Amande Medium Dark Concealer. This is like full coverage. And I just kind of put it over that redness, or orange redness. <laughs> it's definitely not red, but the red color corrector. And then I'm just gonna use my little sponge, which I did my makeup yesterday and I, I didn't clean it. Don't judge me, okay? I don't judge y'all, don't judge me. <laughs> but just blend that in. Um, I just realized I forgot to put primer on. Usually I'll put primer on before the color corrector. I didn't put primer on, it's fine. I'm just gonna go without it. Okay, you guys will not believe the foundation that I just have been loving lately. I don't know if it's because it's been hot and it's lighter, but this Rare Beauty 440C. So after I did my review a couple, what was it, a couple weeks ago, I was using it like every day after that, and I was using it mixed with my matte Estee Lauder foundation. I was using it by itself, and I'm just really enjoying this foundation. I think what works best for me is using powder over it because by itself it is a little bit glowy and when I use it with a powder foundation it does give me a little bit more coverage and also keeps me matte which I like so I think even in my video I might have used a lighter color yeah I did because I had the wrong color and then I ordered it on Sephora that's how you know I liked it because I went on Sephora.com and I was like let me see. <laughs> let me order the right color all right this is 4.5 makeup forever matte velvet skin concealer it is everything so good full coverage I absolutely love it did you guys watch the debate listen okay first off Kamala Harris like I was here for her like I was loving her during the debate she was just on top of it and I felt like she was just very classy with her shade honey because she was being shady okay in only a shady way we would know Mike Pence was sitting up there didn't realize the shade but she was over there like this like hmm I was just here for it, okay? And then the fly, I was like, oh, that, listen, that just must be a sign right there, okay? Because uh, I've never heard of a fly landing on anyone's head during a debate like that with millions and millions of people watching. <laughs> All right, time for some powder. Don't kill me, guys, when I tell you what I'm using, okay? So this is a Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Powder. Absolutely love this powder. I do mix them though. This is why I'm like, don't kill me. So this is like 455. This is 405. You can see I use these the most. This is 425. These two have more of a pink undertone. So I'll usually kind of just go like this and then mix it and put a little bit of this. I don't like too much of a pink undertone under my eyes because that's how you get that kind of like flashback type of look. We don't like a flashback, okay? No one wants flashback. So I'm just setting my under eyes 
with this little, you know, three powder combo. <laughs> you could definitely go lighter or, or, you know, use your skin tone or whatever, but I feel like my skin tone changes a lot, especially in the summer. Like if I'm out in the sun, I tan really fast. So I like to have options, you know, so I don't ever play myself which I have several times before. <laughs> All right, now that we set the concealer with the powder foundation, I'm gonna go in with my setting powder and cashew from Fenty Beauty. So this is kind of what just like sets and holds the makeup. Well, the makeup forever sets, so I guess this just kind of holds and kind of gives you that nice like flawless look. You can definitely skip this step if you have really dry skin. Cause I know when my skin's more on the dry side, especially like in the winter time, um, I can't bake for that long. So I'm just gonna put this under my eyes and on the side of my nose. I added a little bit of powder on my nose also. And now I'm gonna go in with the NARS Quirimba bronzer, which is like my summertime bronzer, cause it is, look at that, it is dark. So I'm really just gonna use like a little bit. You can see I, I started here and I was like, ooh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of product. So I'll move to this side and then come back. Just cause I didn't want like a dark streak. Um, before I go any further, um, go Lakers, okay? Yes, I'm from Southern California, go Lakers. If you guys put bronzer on your cheeks, definitely don't forget about the forehead, even the jawline, if you want that jawline to be snatched, even the neck, especially if your body's darker than your face, you gotta hit up every corner, okay? All right, time for some brows. I'm going even lighter than I usually go. Uh, this is light brown from KBD Beauty. I just love how a lighter brow looks, especially with dark black hair. <laughs> dark black. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. So I just start at the bottom of my brow and kind of outline my brows and then fill them in. Because my brows are pretty full, I fill them in mainly like on the outer corner, outside. I already described this part of the brow closer to the temple more than I do close to my nose. And then outline the top. Also, I like to draw little lines up or the direction that your hair is going. I'm just drawing little tiny lines with a very light pressure. Just makes it look super natural and kind of have that fade. Ooh, look at that. Huh. All right, I'm gonna add that same concealer I used under my eyes as my eyeshadow base. Um, I feel like this just eliminates having to buy another product, you know what I mean? I'm all about saving the coins. So I'm just gonna apply this all over and I like to make sure that my concealer, you know, that I put on my eye is kind of a thicker, stickier consistency. Not sticky in like a bad way, but I guess like just thicker, that's the right word. Okay, so now that we have eyeshadow base, this is looking real good. Huh. This is, okay, I bought this on at Juvia's place. It was only $20. I actually feel like it was on sale for $10. Something's telling me it was on sale for $10, but this palette is like everything. Like this is a neutral girl's dream, okay? I shouldn't say girl, a neutral person's dream, okay? But ooh. I absolutely love this. Um, so I think we're just gonna start with this brown in the crease. So I always just kind of press the shade in the crease first. So all the pigment can kind of get off the brush and then blend it. Can I tell you guys like what my like goal is in life? Of course, I wanna like have my own business. Um, you know, a couple kids running around, twins would be nice. Um, and I just want to be that person that can like drink wine during the week, like every day, I have a glass of wine every other day and not gain weight, not have any consequences. You know what I mean? I mean, I probably could do that now, but I don't think I could honestly drink every single day, but you know what I mean? Like you always see those people just cracking open that wine every night. I'm like, I wanna be that person. All right, I'm switching to a smaller brush. This is Sigma E25, and I'm just gonna dip it into this deeper brown here. I feel like this may not be dark enough, but we're just gonna give it a go. We're gonna try it out. So really just kind of press the color in the crease and then start to blend. So these smaller brushes are really great for packing on the color and blending it while kind of keeping the color the same, it's not gonna lighten it. Whereas those big fluffy brushes are good for like lighter shades, really like 
blending out and kind of like neutralizing the shade. Ooh, that kind of did the trick, that little darkness in the corner. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply this shade here. This is more of like a neutral brown. We're gonna put this on the lid and then this shade that we're gonna do, yeah, I think this one on the inside of the lid right here. Okay, so a couple days ago, well, just all the time, <laughs> people love to be mean to me, but I received just like a few comments, people saying like, oh, like you look pregnant. This was like during like a workout video, which I'm like, you could clearly see I'm not pregnant, but after I blocked them for being rude, hmm, I thought to myself, I said, you know what? Like that person or those people have to be in like a really bad place and really unhappy for them to project their own feelings about themselves and just being negative onto me. You know what I mean? So I just feel like someone out there needs to hear it. If someone's bullying you, cause that's bullying, hmm, on the internet or just being mean, you know, trying to get people to like not like you and da da da. If someone's doing that, they're not happy. Okay, so don't take offense to it. Just, this is what I always say. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna pray for that person because they need a hug. They're going through something projecting it onto me so I just feel like I needed to share that with you guys because on the internet people can be so mean and y'all know they don't be saying that in person they won't look at you or come up to you and say you like pregnant or you're this you're this you know they like to say it on the internet so whenever someone does that just ignore them keep it moving and know that you're probably doing something right because they're mad okay hmm. all right so now I'm just smudging that darker brown from the palette under my lash line, which I love a smudged eyeshadow under here. Looks so good, like, ooh. Ooh, ooh it looks so good. All right, we've been baking for way too long, so I'm just gonna smudge this off. Not smudge it off, wipe it off. What am I talking about here, you guys? Listen, I had a little bit of wine, I'm not gonna lie, before I started filming. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna line with Immortal from Melt Cosmetics. I just love a gel liner. I like liquid liners too, but I feel like gels are just, I don't know, they just hit a little different. And I feel like they're darker. Maybe I just like it more, I don't know. But this is, this is everything right here. And I like my liner to be kind of thin towards my nose here on the inside, and then a little thicker on the outside here. And I'm gonna wing it out. Like a itty bitty baby wing. All right, I'm gonna add some Rocal Beauty. What are these? Solar, wait, no, Soluna lashes. Um, these are a little bit more natural than what I usually wear. So I think what I'm gonna do is add a lot of mascara to make them look a little bit more dramatic and also just super long. Ooh, these are cute. Okay, so Luna. Roquel has another pair that I am just like obsessed with. I'm, I just don't even wear because I don't want to run out of them. They're called Solar Flare. So both these are, are cute. Listen, Roquel knows his lashes, okay? All right, while my lashes are drying and before I put any mascara on, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter. This is Smashbox Halo Bronze. Golden bronze highlight. A little bit right here. I love a golden bronze highlight, okay? As long as it doesn't have silver reflex in it, I love it. Ooh. I was like, a little bit of highlight. I can never just put a little bit of highlighter on. It's like I go all the way, okay? So I always put a little bit on my nose right here and then on my lip right here. I think that looks cute and sometimes on my chin. So typically I'm all about my ColourPop Whistle While You Work blush, but it's out of stock. It's been out of stock for a minute, so we're gonna switch it up. Um, I just grabbed this Bobbi Brown Plum. I've actually never used this color. Well, maybe I have, but it's been a minute. This one actually does look brand new. Um, I'm drawn to it because it's very bright. So whenever I see blush that's super bright like this, I know it's gonna look good on my skin tone. It'll probably look less bright. Oh, oh my God. Oh yes, honey. Ooh! <laughs> this is it, this is it. It is really hard when you have a deeper skin tone to find blush. Mm, real cute. And apply your blush a little bit higher. So like up here, like this area. All right, now I'm gonna curl my lashes. Um, I've been doing this probably, 
I don't know, for some time now, but I love the look of your own lash curled with the lash. I feel like it looks more natural. I mean, not even really more natural. It just looks better when you curl them. <laughs> They're lifted, okay? Okay, so this is KVD Lash Primer. I'm just gonna put this on the bottom because I want my bottom lashes to be thick so they go with the false lashes. Um, everyone's eyes are different, but for me, I don't like my eyes to look lash heavy on top. I like it, you know, when there's lashes on both. You know, some people like, like Nicki Minaj, for instance, she can have a false lash huge with nothing underneath and it looks good. I just don't think that works for her. My eyes. All right, now I'm gonna use the NARS Extreme Climax or Climax Extreme. I like this one a lot, mascara. And I'm gonna apply it to both my top and bottom lashes. Because these false lashes are kind of like on the thinner side, I'm gonna, I guess, just kind of put a lot of mascara on all the way up to the top. Usually I'll keep it at the base of the lash, but we're gonna bring her all the way up. Ooh, I love this. Oh my God. All right, so naturally I forgot to use the setting spray, but I feel like my look kind of doesn't need it. So let's just jump into the first lip look. Again, we're doing four because this goes with everything, okay? Um, all right, so this is Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Lip Liner. And I always line kind of that outer edge of my lip. So some people line the inside. I like to, it's almost like slightly overdrawing them. And then this is Juvia's Place Lady Lipstick, which I just love this nude. It is such a good nude. So cute. And then I'm gonna top it off with, ooh, Artist Couture Uncensored 2.0 Lip Gloss, one of my favorites. Ooh, look at this. Like nice, neutral, but kind of dramatic look. I mean, this could be an everyday look. It just depends on the mood. <laughs> All right, next lip color is from Rare Beauty. I use the same Limitless Brown Lip Liner. I love, I absolutely love these Rare Beauty. Um, they're like lip souffles, they're so good. This shade is thrilling. I love like a chocolate brown lip, okay? Definitely like a must have. Like no matter your skin tone, this is bomb, okay? All right, the next lip is more of like a plum lip. This is Juvia's Place Scorpio. Yeah, Scorpio Lip Liner. Let me just fill in the lips. Always line your lips and kind of fill in the lip. Ooh, this lip liner is really good. This is my first time using it, but I am loving it. Okay, and now this is Dosa Colors Bury Me Too. Isn't this pretty? Like, and we love a liquid lipstick. Like, I want to use a lip color that's not gonna come off on my wine glass, okay? <laughs> Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone who likes MAC Heroin, Remember that color? I feel like you'd like this. It's maybe a little bit more berry, not as purple, but so cute. All right, last but not least, of course we had to do red lip. Um, I lined my lips with Misfit from KVD. And can you guys guess what lip I'm about to put on? <laughs> no, it's not mine from ColourPop, that one's discontinued. This is Uncensored from Fenty Beauty. Such a good, Lip, like all the colors in this uh, Stunna lip paint, is it called lip paint? Yes, are so good. Like definitely worth, worth it. Ooh, yeah. So you really just need to put on the bottom and blot and then add where you need to. Ooh. Now y'all know. <laughs> y'all know. <laughs> Ooh, a red lip with black hair is just like everything. Where are we going? Where are we going tonight, you guys? Where are we going? All right, guys, here is one of the four finished looks. I'm just living for this. Um, you guys know when I recommend something, y'all know it's fire, okay? So definitely check out all of these lip colors. I'm just looking because I kind of slightly overdrew my lips a little bit more than I usually do, but I'm like living for this. I just love everything about this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm always up to hearing your suggestions for video ideas, obviously. Like someone told me to do this or like try different colored lips. Boom, here you go. Boom, there you go. So drop suggestions in the comments. Let me know which lip you guys like the best. 
that purple was kind of giving it to me, but now that I have the red, I'm like, ooh, this is really cute. Yeah, again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And last but not least, strut and slay.